Uh, okay, uh, this is the first review on my channel. I'm very new to at this, so this review will probably not be perfect, but, but I'll try my best. And I'll try not to spoil much. Today we are going to review The Lion Guard, an animated Disney Junior show. Uh, the Lion Guard is a show that takes place after the events of The Lion King, and takes place between The Lion King 2 and Miss Pride as well. This show is about a lion cub named Kion, the son of King Simba, who earns this power called the Roar, which gives him the ability to let out a powerful roar which can blast animals far away. Kion then assembles a group called the Lion Guard. The Lion Guard consists of five heroes. A cheetah named Foley, the fastest, a hippo named Bessie, the strongest, an egret bird named Ono, the keenest of sight, a honey badger named Bunga, the bravest, and lastly, the leader of the Lion Guard, Kion. Their job is to defend the Pride Lands from any dangers or threats. Now that I've explained the plot, let's begin the review. So, what is my opinion on the Lion Guard? I was actually surprised. This show was really good. It is very different from your average Disney Junior show. It wasn't just dis different from Disney Junior show standards, but from preschool shows in general. You see, this show didn't have fourth, fourth wall breaking or cheesy dialogue, which is a problem with many preschool shows. The Lion Guard was very different. It was more intense and action-packed which were pretty surprising to see in a TV wired series. The Lion Guard got pretty dark at times where it felt more like a Disney XD show, but you know what? I'm glad that the show went into more mature subject matter. It proves that preschool shows don't have to be so simple and corny. There was even one episode called Long Live the Queen which dealt with death, and it's done very well. Speaking of which, the show had two on-screen deaths, but I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna say who the characters were due to spoilers. This is considered the first Disney Junior show to show deaths on screen. Okay, let's look at, okay, let's look at the story now. The story is pretty decent. Kion earns this rare power, and Simba tells him what it does. That Kion must assemble a new lion guard, as there were other lions before Kion who had the roar, and they also led a lion guard. Kion assembles a lion guard that is different from the previous ones. This time the lion guard had different species of animals instead of just all lions. I said their aim er, names earlier, so I don't need to say them here. Uh, the first season didn't have didn't have that much lore, but it was still good. Season 1 just revolved around the Lion Guard defending the Pride Lands from any threats like hyenas and jackals. It was mostly the hyenas. They, they were constantly attacking the Pride Lands, and the Lion Guard had to keep stopping them, but overall, it was still a decent season. The second season is where the show got more interesting. It started having more lore and uh, more intense, and got more intense. Oh, this one might count as a spoiler, but it is the main plot, so I have to mention it. Janja and Ishari find a way to revive Scar. When Scar gets summoned, he plans on destroying the Pride Lands and the Circle of Life. So he hires the Outlanders to work together and attack the Pride Lands. At first, the Lion Guard don't know why the Outlanders were suddenly working together, but when they finally found out, they started coming up with plans to defeat Scar. This is basically the plot of the second season, and I believe it's really well done. Scar is still a very intimidating and great villain as, as he was in The Lion King. And as for the storytelling in, in this season, it's decent in my opinion. The third season is where it got much more intense. Kion gets poisoned, not gonna say how, and he and his friends must must leave the Prylands to look for the Tree of Life so he can find a cure. But, but Kion starts acting differently than usual. He's acting more uh, aggressive and firm. It kind of reminds me of Steven Universe Future a little bit, where Steven gets more corrupted and aggressive as the series goes on. But at the same time, it's still very. But at the same time, though, it's still very different, because in Steven Universe Future, 
Stephen was a suffering from anger and depression. And here, Kion is only acting this way because of the poison. I found this a very interesting concept and story. It, it, did, it did it pretty well. In Kion's character, where he gets more anger, even snapping at his friends a couple of times is quite scary. Especially for a TVY rated show. Overall, I thought the stories and lore were pretty interesting, and made me addicted to the show even more. So yeah, the storytelling was great. Let's move on to the characters now. I'm not going to talk about every character, but I'll review some of them. Let's talk about Kion, the main character first. Kion is the leader of the Lion Guard. He's a lion cub and King Simba's dad. He does a really good job as leader. He doesn't push his friends too hard. He just wants to help anyone in the Pride Lands who's in trouble. He also had proper character de development. He went from a playful, carefree, and sometimes immature cub to a strong and more serious leader. In Season 3, he changed even more, but not in a good way. Like I mentioned earlier, Kyron's pal personality started becoming more meaner in Season 3, but that was only because of the poison. Kyron also has an amazing singing voice. Hell, I mean like an amazing one. But his voice is very different when he sings. It's almost like they switch voice actors for an... Let's talk about Ono now. He's an eager bird who happens to be really smart. He was the keenest of sight of the group, which means he was the one who scouts the pylons for any problems. He's an okay character, but his voice is a bit weird. This is all I have to say about him, sadly. And bestly, he's a good character as well. He is a hippo and he's the strongest of the group. But he's also the nicest too, which is kind of surprising since hippos in real life are kind of known for being one of the most dangerous animals ever. His voice actor, his voice actor does a good job vo voicing him too. Bestie always cares about everyone and hates hurting animal animals unless they're any unless they're enemies. In the episode Bestie did a story where he accidentally destroys animal stuff. He really regrets it. Decides just to go to a place where he where he quote-unquote can't cause any more damage. This proves how caring he is. Let's talk about Bunga now. He is a honey badger and Kion's best friend. He is the bravest of the group, a little too brave if you ask me. He is immature at times, he enjoys eating bugs, and eats them on screen which can be kind of gross to some people. He also has a habit of farting and still and sometimes even uses it against enemies, which I thought was unnecessary. But overall, I still think Bunga is an entertaining character. He does bring some good humor throughout the show. Lastly, let's talk about Foley. She is one of my favorite characters in the show. Foley is a cheetah and, and is the fastest of the group. She's confident and independent. She's pretty grumpy at times, but she cares about the group a lot. Foley often prefers to hunt alone, but she considers the Lion Guard as her family. In Season 3, she's very worried about Kion because of what's happening. Whenever Kion starts turning aggressive, Foley always tries to console him. Foley's a very cool character in my opinion. Also, she has an amazing singing voice like Kion. I mean, it is really beautiful to listen to. That's it for the characters, let's move on to the voice acting now. The voice acting is really good, it really fits the characters, well except for Ono's oh, voice act actor. His voice sounds a bit scratchy, but that's just my opinion. The singing is really nice to listen as well to, to as well, it's just beautiful. Let's move on to the animation now. The animation is just perfect. It captures the feel of the Lion King mo movies. Okay, hold on, I need, I need to take a break for a moment. Okay. Okay, so let's move on to the animation now. The animation is just perfect. It captures the feel of the Lion King movies. The backgrounds are beautiful. It almost looks it almost it almost looks just like the animation from the Lion King, which is amazing. The overall the animation is just a masterpiece. Let's review the results below. The story, ten out of ten. It has really unique storytelling. The characters, ten out of ten. The characters are likable and interesting. The voice acting, 10 out of 10. The voice acting really suits the characters. The animation, 10 out of 10. The animation is really well done, especially the backgrounds. Overall, my final rating of the show would be a 10 out of 10. It's a it's a really great series despite the Lion Guard being aimed this okay. Despite the Lion Guard being aimed at a younger younger demographic, it grew a huge following 
it grew a huge following in a fandom. And and I'm not that surprised really. The show the show was really great, even for a six even for a sixteen year old Okay, the show was really great, even for a sixteen year old like me. I'd I'd really recommend this series. It's very epic and enter and exciting. So yeah. I recommend you check this show out. You'll probably like it, or you probably won't. But if you don't like the show, that's fine. This is only my opinion. So yeah, this is my review of The Lion Guard, and I'm out. See you in my next review.